Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, I have discussed about what is sentence boundary detection and topic boundary detection. And in this video, we are discussing about the methods in order to find the sentence boundaries and topic boundaries. Generally, there are several methods in order to detect the boundaries of a sentence or a topic. But in this uh, lecture, we are discussing only two methods. So first one is generative sequence classification method and the second one is discriminative local classification method. Okay. So now let's see what is generative sequence classification method. So before knowing what is this generative sequence classification method is, you have to know these two things. What is observation and labels? So observations are nothing but words or punctuations. When a large text is given, the words in it or the punctuation marks in it are nothing but the observations. And labels are nothing but uh, it is whether a sentence boundary or topic boundary. So whenever a large text is given, so you are labeling whether that particular part is a sentence boundary or a topic boundary. Okay. So now let's discuss what is this generative sequence classification method is. So these methods have models which are not only capable of predicting the most likely label but also generating the sequences itself based on the learner probabilities. So I will explain what this is. See the first thing is it is capable of predicting the most likely label. I have discussed what is label right. Label is nothing but sentence boundary or topic boundary. It will detect the boundary of a sentence or it might be detecting the boundary of a topic. So these methods will be helping you to find the sentence boundary or the topic boundary. It also helps in generating the sequences itself based on the learned probabilities. So generally these uh, kinds of methods what they do is they, they first learn. They will be trained with some particular examples and then whenever a new, new one is given or new sentence is given they will generate or they will most likely pre uh, predict the labels of that particular new sequence based on the previous examples. So at the same time, they will be generating the new sequences, new sequences in the sense, new sentences they will be generating. If you ask that particular system to generate that particular, uh, please generate the new sequences from whatever example I have given. So it will generate the new sequences from the whatever example you have given. Okay. So these methods will be having some models, right? So one of the more, one of the basic example of this model is hidden marker model. So let's discuss uh, the working of hidden marker model. So the first step is it learns from data about the observations and its corresponding hidden states. So observations are nothing but words or the punctuation marks. So first we will be training that particular model with some data. I mean data is nothing but the words or the punctuation marks we will be training. And also whatever the hidden states with that observations are there, it, it, it that system will be learning these observations and also the hidden states. Hidden states are nothing but if that part, uh, you have given some particular sentence as an example to that system. So that sentence will be tagged with the parts of speech. I mean, uh, from, for, for, you can see in this example, right? So for I, we will be tagging with its parts of speech and love, we will be tagging with its uh, parts of speech, all those things. So it will learn this particular data. And in this se second step, what it will do, it will predict the labels or sequence generation is done. So I, I already told what are the main aim of these kind of methods. First one is it will predict the labels. Either it can detect whether that particular boundary is sentence or topic boundary. And then uh, it can also generate the sequences. New sequences it will be generating. And the third one is classifies the new sequences. If suppose it suppose you are asked with that particular system in order to generate a new sequence. So classification is nothing but you are also classifying but that particular sequence either by the parts of speech or something else. So that is nothing but the classification of that particular sequence. And let's see what is the example of this particular method. You By this example you will be getting the clear understanding what is hidden marker model. So these are the three sentences which I am giving, I mean which I am training the particular system. So the sentence one is I love coding. So I am, I am also... Uh, I have given the corresponding hidden states to the uh, particular words. So those hidden states are nothing but the parts of speech. So for I, I have added pronoun and love, I have added verb and coding, I have added noun. So for particular word, I have I have tagged the parts of speech to it. And the sentence two also the same. And the sentence three is also the same. Now I am asking that particular uh, model to generate a new sequence from these sequences, whatever I have given. So as that particular model, so generate me a sequence which starts with the word she. So it will generate uh, some sentences. I mean some new sequences it will be generating based on whatever the word I have given. Okay. It might be the combination of these three sentences or it might be co the combination of only one, one sentence 
or anything it will be giving me the, the sequences i mean new sequences it will be generating and after generating the sequences it will find out the paths of speech for e that sequence that new sequence it will be generating the paths of speech that is nothing but classifies the new sequence classification is nothing but it will be adding the corresponding hidden states to whatever the new sequence it has generated okay suppose it has generated uh, the new sequence like uh, she loves coding okay so uh, she loves coding is the new sequence this is the new sequence whatever the system has generated is the new sequence so for this sequence it will also generate the paths of speech that is nothing but the classification for she it will be giving pronoun and for loves it will be giving verb and for coding it will be giving noun so this is nothing but the classification of the new sequence so this is about the generative sequence classification method in my next video i will be discussing about what is discriminative local classification method and if you like my video please do subscribe to my channel and if you have any queries please do comment in the comment section uh, i will be replying you as soon as possible and thank you